Hey, this is a really good question. So if you're having a hard time with timing, um, there's a few things you can try out. These are more general tips because I don't know exactly like how long you're taking per passage, etc. But I'll speak from students' experiences. So I have students who will sometimes like struggle with timing on a practice test and then have maybe two or three passages that they just like can't even get to or answer. And there's a few things you can try, not during the practice test, but like before in your preparation to help you fix that. But at least during the practice test, um, I saw your comment about like doing it untimed. Don't do that because you're doing yourself a disservice. The point of doing the full length exam is so that you can figure out like, okay, where am I at with my timing? How do I improve and how do I build that like endurance that you need to get through the full length exam. So doing it on time kind of takes away from that purpose. So do it timed, even if you can't finish it, it's okay. How to improve your timing throughout the week is more important. So you have to kind of look at what your baseline time is and decide, okay, like how am I gonna fix it? And one of the things you can do is start doing passages back to back when you're actually practicing. So that can look like starting off with two to three passages back to back where you're not reviewing the answers as you're doing it. You're kind of just like doing it, you know, pretty quickly, doing them back to back and then adding that up as the week goes on. Um, and you can start off with your baseline time. So let's say it takes you 13 minutes to get through a passage. You can start by doing two to three passages back to back 13 minutes and then gradually cutting down the timing. But increasing the number of passages that you do consecutively and then gradually cutting down the time will help you speed up going through the passages but also like build the endurance that you need to like get through the full length exam because sometimes the struggles that people have with timing is they're perfectly fine in the beginning because they take too long in the beginning and then that carries over and it's like a domino effect and you can't do the stuff at the end. One of the biggest uh, issues that people have with timing is that they just linger on the questions for too long. Like it might take them four to six minutes to read the passage, which is fine. But then they'll stick like on a question for like a minute and a half or two minutes and that should not be what you're doing. You look at the question, if you can answer it within 45 seconds to a minute, that's great. Put the answer and you know, do your thing. If you can't answer it within like 45 seconds, just flag it and keep moving and come back to that question when you're done with the other questions in the passage. The reason you wanna do this is like, just grab all the points that you can and come back to the ones that are taking you longer. An even better thing that you can do is if you know, like if you look at the question, you're like, oh, this is gonna take me a while or it's super long and you're like, oh, I don't know what they're talking about. Don't waste time on the question. Just like flag it, move on, answer the other questions for the passage and come back to that one and use whatever like remaining time that you have to figure out like your questions or anything that you flagged. And that's just been really helpful for people because it fixed a lot of their timing issues, which was just lingering on the questions and staying too long. So yeah, these are more like general tips that you can try out just because I don't hear your situation, but hopefully it helps out you and someone else who finds this video.